coming off two tough losses this weekend against number one Nebraska and Iowa. I caught up with the Illinois volleyball team as they continue their road swing this weekend. I thought we played pretty well at times in both matches, but um, you know it's hard when you get two losses and especially getting swept by Nebraska. I think for us, more like things you got exposed that we need to work on. I think both of those teams are really good, and I thought that we saw like Nebraska is the number one team in the nation, and we can definitely play with them. I mean, I think we defended better than them. We just didn't execute the whole time. I think we've outblocked a lot of our opponents, in the winner, whether we win or lose, and that's not the whole story with defense. I think um, Nebraska, like the whole idea of on defense is you certainly want to block balls, but you also want to create swings. You want to dig some balls and create some swings. And I thought Nebraska did a much better job of that. We needed to end a lot of points right off the bat. And, I thought they did a good job of creating some deflections and then turning those into swings. And um, you know, I think our defense was just okay in that match. I think they made a, they made some errors and our hitting efficiency, their hitting efficiency was down. But I'm not sure we created as much as they created. And so I think we have work to do on defense, especially as you turn around and go to Iowa. They hit 300 against us, and um, we didn't play great defense in that match. I was able to go in and use what I had already seen from their defense and try to be successful, but um, I really just wanted to change the vibe and be positive and happy on the court. We were a little shaky when I went in, so I just wanted to kind of bring some confidence to everybody and just have fun playing volleyball with my friends. <laughs> it was a long uh, match, so I think I had a lot of opportunities and they gave, the, they gave lots of tips out of system and stuff, so I think that I was just given a lot of opportunities to make plays. Certainly, it was nice to get some middles going. It was nice to see, well, Naya played great. She had a high percentage. And then um, Ali Bastianelli did a nice job, especially in the Iowa match. She had over 500. So I just, I think offensively, there were some things that happened that were really good. But um, overall, we just we needed to play a lot better to get two wins out of that weekend. And we better with Michigan's coming up. Um, I think right now, we're just focusing on us. We'll focus on um, the Michigan's a little later in the week. Um, we, we know that they're two tough teams, and they've had some impressive wins already this season so we know that we're going to have to be good and be clean but right now we're just doing our thing focusing on being the best Illini volleyball team we can be. We're going to work on uh, just like competing together as a team and just fine tuning keep fine tuning things and getting better each day. We're going to do a little bit less for practice but our preparation is our preparation. I feel like we came out ready and we're physically ready to play. It's um, emotionally mentally we, we need to make sure that we're, we're engaged the whole time but Otherwise, the prep won't change that much. Two teams are very different. Um, one's really big and physical, physical, and the other one's really small and fast. Not really small, but they're smaller and faster. And so I think that the turnaround of playing two very different teams back to back is going to be a pretty good challenge for us. And playing in two very hostile environments. And so um, they, a lot of them know that already, but we'll talk about how to handle that a little bit. This weekend will be another tough road test for the Illini as they battle the Michigans. Number 13 Michigan on Friday and number 15 Michigan State on Saturday.